I like that. Hi, Johnny. We've got a measured entrance. It was, wasn't it? Very calm. A bit dramatic, but down to Nabba. All right. All right. I've never said all right before. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, you're good at it. Thank you. <sighs> Make... <laughs> <laughs> I hate stuff like this. Make the biggest beer mat house on this table. Whilst making your biggest beer mat house, you must ring the doorbell after exactly one minute. Then after exactly 58 more seconds. Then 56 seconds and so on until zero seconds. So basically two seconds down. Biggest beer mat house wins. If you make more than two mistakes with the doorbell timing, you will be disqualified. <sighs> Your time ends when you press the doorbell for the last time and starts now. OK. So I'll be one minute and then 58 seconds and 56 seconds. So I've got to keep going in and out. Oh, I understand. That's obvious. OK, okay. what's the point of that? So I keep vigilant. What's the like point? Stay of... present. I'm not sure what the point of any of it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're uncomfortable with any kind of casual greeting, aren't you? All right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. That's my first observation. And my second is that Richard Herring says he hates things like this, as if people regularly <laughs> ask him... <laughs> oh, ..to make this. a house out of beer, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so they had ever-diminishing time periods to go in and out of the room. They could see a clock. They could see the time ticking down, otherwise it would be too hard. But they had just over a quarter of an hour in total, but obviously they would have smaller and smaller gaps as they went along. And to introduce the first people, I'm going to use the male equivalents of their female names. It's Keith and Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> so it's up to you how you make a beer mat house. Do I have any sellotape? If you want it. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, let's get... Come on, let's get this sellotape in, please. How long do you think it takes to get to the front door? Timing. We're starting again with 58. You don't really get any prizes for building a cool house. It's more about the doorbell, isn't it? Well, it's more about the size of the house. Mm. So this is good. <laughs> mm. oh. Do you mind going and ringing the doorbell? Um, yeah, ideally at 58, yeah. Oh, fuck it. Look, this is good. Did I miss it? This time. Yeah, that felt like a bit of a mistake. I'm sort of, sort of busy thinking about um, the house. Yes. Ah, pile them like this! Of course. What do you normally build a house with? Bricks. And? Straw. <laughs> so that's the roof. I just feel like all I've done is ring the doorbell. 48, please. Yeah, a bit late this time, Catherine. No! Fuck! No! I just don't think this looks like a house. You better go and ring the doorbell. Just ringing a doorbell. I'm just ringing a doorbell. <sighs> are, you, are you stopping? Yeah. Oh my God, there's so you many. Need to go and ring the doorbell, just, Catherine. You know. Catherine, you need to, Catherine, you need to go and ring the doorbell. Can I have a cup of tea? Yes. Hang on, hang on. Ah. Time to go and ring the doorbell, Catherine. See, I'm getting quicker. Well, the time's getting shorter, isn't it? Yeah, I'm off you go, Catherine. I might just build menagerie around the house. He lives here. This is mate Gareth. There really won't be a lot of time now between each one. Now? Yes, off you go. Ah! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Catherine, you have to go. <laughs> So we need to go and ring the doorbell now, Catherine. I stay here. One, two, go. Just two seconds. Mm -hmm. Well, Catherine. what's the point? What's the point? Catherine. <laughs> Sorry, that was childish. <laughs> but what's the point? I haven't made a house. <laughs> I felt genuinely quite low. Well, it's the angriest I've ever seen you. You took a house 
and you made it not look like a house. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so rapid. I will be amazed if anyone's managed to do this. I managed this. to build a house. She did. This is her finished product. There's a house. So oh, there is I a roof. Wait there. to move in. <laughs> <laughs> I've rendered it yeah, as. It's, it's Georgian, isn't it? Well, I've, <laughs> I've, re I've rendered it as an architect would. So if that was a house, it would look like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, that's exactly what it would look like. Well, if that's a lovely house, what I was left with would constitute some kind of building. The trouble is you also disqualified many times over for not ringing the doorbell in, in time. Whereas <laughs> Daisy stopped running at the 42-second mark, she just gave up. And the worst of what really sticks in my craw is I'm going to have to give her points for basically just throwing some beer mats in a big pile. Yeah. But there is a gap in the middle. There's a gap in the middle. So they're, they're sort of foundations. OK, what's the gap in the middle? For living space. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking, <laughs> eating, sleeping, entertaining. Yeah, fine. Absolutely fine. I bought us a house. Oh, God, I, I would rather if you told me about it. <laughs> no, 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 you're going to love it. <laughs> it's got a big hole in the middle for us to sleep and eat in. <laughs> and uh, raise our children. <laughs> Do you want to see some more houses? Yeah, sure. This time we've got <laughs> Margaret and Rita. Here we go. I don't understand how you do it. Probably takes you five seconds to reach the front door, by the way. Just... It's just stress, man. Oh, you need to go and ring the doorbell. No! I don't mind bothering ringing the doorbell. <laughs> OK, do you know what? Two, one. What have you got there? Got the doorbell. Now then. Yeah, great. Jammy. You're a lot more relaxed now. Yeah, I think it's because I've got the, the doorbell here. It's really alleviated a lot of stress. Ah! I've cut my hand. There's blood on the doorbell. I've cut my, oh, <laughs> cut my hand. Stop putting blood on the doorbell, Richard. <laughs> I'm starting to see a doorway. Let's try for a second story. Need a lot more room. Oh shit! I've got back the doorbell. I don't know this door. <laughs> Do you have anything that turns? Something that turns. I've got this. Double-sided tape. Oh. Thank you, Richard. There's the house. I mean, blood and sweat and tears have gone into this. Don't mean to brag, but it's a work of art. <laughs> there was a boxing match um, years ago when Chris Eubank was at the height of his powers, and he had a lot of battles with Nigel Benn. And in their most brutal fight, Eubank won it on points. And they went over to him and they said, Chris, you must be elated after such a monumental battle. And Chris Eubank said something, and it's all I now remember about the fight. He said, he split my tongue, <laughs> get an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> and all I remember <laughs> of Richard's attempt is, I've got my finger. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what his house looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he ended up with. He sort of piled the beer mats around the little model of a house. Yeah. It's rubbish. I mean, this is what it would look like if it was an actual house, obviously. Really? No, it wasn't. The, who rendered these? I rendered these. <laughs> you don't like them? Well, no, that's a really nice house. Go back to Richard's house. Here's right. Richard's that's house. What it's like. Right. <laughs> well, you want the place? <laughs> door there to go in. Yes. It's absolute madness. Mawan, on the mm. other hand, this could be your finest hour, I think. Mm. The bell alone. I watch four people in here go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lighthouse that he constructed. Here it is. Look at that. Amazing. I said, oh, wow, it's a windmill. <laughs> 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 uh, There's only one person left. He's the perennial voice of hope. He is Johnny Vegas. Oh, this is rubbish. Why don't even bother? I shut the door. Can you have one more? No, I'm naked. 
I've lost many a bar job. Just standing there licking beer mats. I once repaired a bicycle puncture with my spittle. It's amazingly strong. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> chicken. I'm going to turn something highly controversial and put in a supporting wall there. Oh, it's your fault! <laughs> oh, my man. I'm going to miss it. What's this one? Never learnt to read, but look at that. On the prairie, okay? So the like, what's the point? It's just a homestead. Oh. Oh. That was the task that I was most invested in. I thought it was my time to shine, and that broke my heart. But your skill is clear. That was... We yeah. saw the house. And you even put in a supporting wall. There was actual construction talk <laughs> mentioned in there. I mean, sure, <laughs> architecture's changed these days. These days, people just make a hole in it a was... load of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful, John. He called it Vegas Villas. Vegas Villas. When it was at its peak. Well, was... every one of them was an apartment. <laughs> Heartbreaking. Yeah, sadly, you've got to score this. Do these two get any points, Johnny and Catherine? Well, I mean, God forgive me, but no. Oh, please, for effort. I, I didn't... Can't, I, I, know, I can't give effort points. I think That's not... he should get more than me. It was really it's hard. Really, really, really making making, really making hard. his own cement. Just give me one point for emotionally investing myself in the tap. Let me think about that. <laughs> OK. I'm giving Mawan five points. Five points. I mean, my God, they don't deserve it. <laughs> Four points to Daisy, three points to Richard. And then we've got zero for Catherine, and then there's That's just good. the... Uh... And then there's just a matter of the uh, bonus point for Johnny. Please. No, 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 no points. Zero to Johnny. Well done. Seriously. I can't see people see me being publicly weak. <laughs> <laughs> I have a 17-year-old, and he's never going to speak to me after this. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.